Namaste yogis. Thank you so much for joining this live with lives class today. I have a nice simple flow class for you. The props you may need is two blocks, maybe a blanket and a strap. A strap, blocks and a blanket. If you do not have a strap, you can replace it with a towel. You may be using it very, um, not that much. So if you don't have also, it's okay. Blocks, if you don't have blocks, you can substitute it with books. And if you don't have this blanket, like a beach towel or something also is fine. Something goes underneath your knees if needed. If you do not have any props too, that's also well and good. So, setting up what you need for the practice. As I always say, less is more. So keep it simple. We have a nice simple flow class today. Come to a seated position. Comfortable seated position where your spine is effortlessly tall. Sitting on top of a block or something elevated where, where your hips are slightly elevated. I highly recommend that. Cross leg, straight leg, any option is fine. So take this time to find a shape where you are comfortable with the least amount of work. Take the time, take the time, find that shape. Once you have established that shape, close your eyes. Eyes may fall closed. Simply by closing your eyes, turns the attention from the outside to the inside. Starting this beautiful journey of turning your attention inward. Oftentimes we look for answers outside, but the answers lie within us. Staying still, staying quiet. Listening to your breath. Observing the breath moving inside the body. Feeling the breath touching outside your body. Let the breath slow you down. Let the breath anchor you down. To the present moment. And slowly start to rub your palms together till you feel the heat. Cut them in front of your eyes. 
feel the warmth and then hands by your side gently blink your eyes open let the light in welcome to your practice now from a seated meditation let's come into all fours hands and knees Carefully setting up the foundation. If you need something underneath your knees, this may be the right time for that. But my mat is on top of a carpet, so I'm, I don't need anything right now. Shoulders and wrists in one line, hips and knees in one line. Neutral spine, waiting for your breath here. Starting with a few rounds of cat and cow. Inhale, shoulders back, chest forward, looking up without cranking your neck. And then exhale, scooping your neck down, gaze in between your thighs. A few more times like that. Inhale. Exhale. Taking the time to breathe well. Taking the time to move well. Observing the fluidity of your breath. At the same time, stability in your body. Head and cow is a wonderful way to wake up your spine. Warm up the spinal fluids. Hip joints, shoulder joints. A nice way to start a class. Cat and cow. And remember, cat and cow need not always be linear. If you need the urge for a circular movement in your hip, feel free to do that. Basically moving in a way that is appropriate for you today. Relaxing your neck. Taking some circular movements in your hips. Okay. Once you think your spine has warmed up enough, come back into a neutral spine. And from there, tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Finding your hands, finding your feet, noticing the support. Again, stay still if you want to or if you think a little bit of movement. Turning your heel, maybe side to side. Alternate knee bends. It's a wonderful way to gently ease into the shape. Pressing into your hands. Sitting bones up, 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 bending the thigh bones back, deep buttering your lower back, downward facing dog. Now from there, take your feet mat with the distance apart. Let it be a wide leg down dog. And then slowly start to walk your hands towards the back of the mat. Coming into a forward fold on the back of the mat. If you feel the need to take your feet a little more wider than this, feel free to do that. Catching your opposite elbows, pro probably right on top of left, is a wonderful option to gently wake up your shoulders. Let go of your neck. Remember, the neck is an extension of your spine. So, nod your head. Yes, no. 
swaying your torso a little side to side. Generous bending your knees as needed. Breath by breath. Only the shape has changed. The breath still remains the same. Conscious breath. And then release the bind. Start to walk your hands towards the front of the mat. Coming into a down dog one more time. Sitting bones up, thigh bones back, knee bones, knee bones, almost reaching down to the mat. And then slowly this time start to walk your feet towards the top of the mat, coming into a forward fold on top of the mat. This time taking the left elbow on top of right, the unusual way of holding your hands. Very subtle shift. Generous bending your knees as needed. Gently waking up our body before we start to flow. Breath by breath. Nodding your head, yes, no. And then releasing the bind, hands down to your lower back. Knees bent, long spine, come all the way up. Come all the way up. Now coming into a standing position, feet on the earth, spreading the toes, hands by your side, Arms facing each other, shoulders up and back, coming into a tadasana, mountain pose, a strong standing position. Few breaths here, spreading the toes, lifting them, fanning them, feeling the big toe mound, pinky toe mound, center of your heel. The triangular base underneath your feet, rooting down firmly and rising tall. Tadasana, standing pose. Now feet on the earth, inhale as you reach your arms up. Exhale, soft bending your knees as you fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank pose. Take the time, set up your plank. Shoulders on top of wrist. Heel on top of toes. Crown of the head reaches forward. Activating your arms, core muscles, thigh muscles. And then for the first one, bring your knees down, feet off of the mat, chest forward, lead with your chest, chest forward, elbows in as you lower, lower all the way down to the mat. Now tops of the feet on the mat, adjust your palms closer to your chest, forehead to the center, on your next inhale, lift your heart up for cobra, Keep pushing into the tops of the feet. Be a little light in your hands. Heart brightens. Side body lengthens. Cobra. Few breaths here. Now please take an in breath here. Exhale, shift back, press back into the dog or facing top. Feeling the hands, feeling the feet, noticing the support, down dog. Now allow the big toes to touch each other. Right leg rises up, inhale. And then exhale, step the right leg forward, back knee down to the mat. 
And then inhale as you reach your arms up, coming to a low lunge. Keep squeezing the outer ribs in, lift up tall through the spine, reaching through the fingertips. Feel free to stay right there, or if you want, a little bit opening in your shoulders, start to clasp your fingers behind your back. This is where the strap or a towel comes handy. Stretching the knuckles away from you. Noticing a nice bright, bright feeling in the front of your chest. Few breaths here. And then release the bind. If you use the strap, release it. And then hands down. Now lift that right leg up and back. Three point down dog. Feel free to stay there or you can bend your right knee, open up the right hip. Take some hip circles. Getting a little deeper into that right hip. And then straighten that right leg, right toes pointing down. Reach through both arms. Now take an in-breath here. Exhale, step it forward, coming to warrior two. Warrior two. Warrior two on the right side. Front heel is lined with the back arch. Take the time, set up the foundation. And then from the foundation, press into both feet as you come up into warrior two. Take the time. Front knee on top of ankle, back leg is long and strong. Gazes towards the right fingertips. Make sure the you have not too much front occupied in warrior two. Reach long through the back hand, firm up the back thigh. Now from there, wrap the left hand behind you. Right hand reaches up and over, reversing your warrior, uplifting warrior. Stay low in the front thigh. Keep rolling the front thigh out. Feeling a nice stretch in that from the right hip all the way to the right fingertip. And then with all the space in that right waist to take the right forearm on top of the front thigh. Make sure the front knee is on top of ankle. And then reach that left hand vertically up. Use the power of your legs. Push down into that front foot. Reach long, long through the back leg. Shoulders away from your ears. And then take an in-breath here. Exhale, hands down, plank pose. Now inhale and plank. And then a slow exhale to lower down to the mat. Knees down is a wonderful option. And then once you are there, inhale, pull your heart up for cobra. And then exhale, push back, press back, downward facing dog. Notice the difference in sensation between both legs, right and the left. Again, eyes may fall closed. Shift from the thinking centers of the mind to the feeling centers of your body. Tune in to those places which are quiet. Now allow the big toes to touch each other. Left leg rises up, inhale. You can bend the left knee, open up the left hip. Getting a little deeper into that left hip socket. Forming up the standing thigh. 
Then take an in breath here. Then exhale, step it forward. Back knee down to the mat. And then inhale as you reach your arms up. Take the time. As much as you drop down in the front, I get the feeling of lifting up. Now starting to clasp your fingers. Depending upon the flexibility of your shoulders, you can use a strap here like this. If you do not have a strap, hands to the hip, elbows in. Beautiful option. Few breaths here, noticing the opening in the front of your chest. Allow the breath to free, freely flow in between your collarbones. And then releasing the mind, hands down, plank pose. Now inhale and plank. And then exhale, knees down, feet off of the mat. Chest forward, elbows in as you lower, lower all the way down to the mat. And then inhale, come into a cobra. And then exhale, shift back, press back, downwards facing down. This time, left leg rises up, inhale. Exhale, step it forward, come into warrior two on the other side, on your left side. Take the time, set up from the foundation. Left knee bent, left toes out, front tail in line with the back arch, hands to a T, gazes towards the left fingertips, warrior two. Dropping down a little deeper. Firming up the back thigh. Now wrap the right hand behind you. Left hand reaches up and over. Reversing your warrior. Uplifting warrior. Stay low in the front thigh. Keep rolling the front thigh out. There is a tendency for that left knee to buckle down. Consciously roll it out. And then with all the space in that left waist to take the left forearm on top of the front thigh. Right hand vertically reaches up to the ceiling. Hip points up, chest up. Activate the back leg. If you happen to collapse into the front leg, activate the back leg. And then hands down, plank pose. Now inhale and plank. And then a slow exhale to lower, lower down to the mat. And then on your next inhale, lifting your heart up for cobra. And then exhale, shift back, press back, downward facing down. Feeling the hands, feeling the feet, noticing the support. Now let's combine the above steps into a nice dancing warrior flow. So moving with your breath. Flow means you don't have to rush yourself. Taking the time to breathe well and move well. So right leg rises up, inhale. And then exhale, step it forward, back knee down to the mat. Inhale as you reach your arms up. And then exhale, hands down, downward facing down. Then inhale, right leg up and back. Bending your knee, opening your hip as you exhale. And then inhale, straight that right leg. Exhale, step it forward, warrior two. Inhale to come up. And then exhale, reverse warrior. 
Take an in breath here and then exhale coming to side angle. Take an in breath here, exhale hands down, plank pose. Inhale and plank, exhale find the floor. And then inhale come into a cobra. And then exhale, shift back, press back, downwards facing dog. Left side, left leg rises up, inhale. Exhale, step it forward, back knee down to the mat. Inhale, one breath, come up. And then exhale, hands down, down, down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, bend your knee, open up your hip. And then inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, set up for warrior two. On the other side. And then inhale, come up. And then exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale here. And then exhale, side angle. Take an in-breath here, and then exhale, hands down, plank pose. Inhale, charge yourself, and then exhale, lower, lower down to the mat. Inhale, new breath, cobra, and then exhale, shift back, press back, downward facing dog. Same sequence, one more time, both sides. Right leg rises up, inhale. Exhale, step it forward, back knee down to the mat. Inhale, reaching your arms up. And then exhale, hands down. Right leg up and back, three point down. Above. Now bend your knee, open up your hip. And then inhale, straighten that right leg. Exhale, warrior two, set up your foundation, ground down your back foot. On the other side, warrior two. Inhale here, exhale, reverse. Inhale here, exhale, side angle. Take an in breath here, exhale, hands down, plank pose. Inhale and plank, exhale, exhale, lower down to the mat. Inhale, new breath, and then exhale, shift back, press back, downward facing down. Last time on the other side, left leg rises up, inhale, exhale, step it forward, back knee down to the mat. Inhale as you reach your arms up, exhale, hands down, left leg up and back, three point down, down. Bend your knee, open up your hip, and then inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, step it forward, ground down your back foot, coming to warrior two on the other side. Inhale here, and then exhale, reverse warrior. Then take an in breath here, exhale, side angle. Inhale here. Exhale, hands down, plank pose. Take a nice inhale, charge yourself. And then exhale, lower, lower down to the mat. With ease and grace. And then inhale, cobra. And then exhale, shift back, press back, downward facing down. Notice how this down dog feels, yogis. Witness the heat, observe your breath. You can even come onto your knees, move into puppy pose, sitting bones on top of your knees without moving your hips. Start to walk your hands forward, bring your head down to the mat or to the block. And then from there, slide your hips all the way back into your heels, coming to child's pose. Few breaths here. 
taking this opportunity to observe your breath. It should be naturally slowing down. Witness the heat. Observe the space. And then slowly rise up. Stay there for a few breaths, sitting on top of your heel. If that is too much, you can even use a block in between your thighs. Eyes may fall closed. Once again, notice the breath moving inside your body. Feeling the breath touching your body. And then slowly release. Now back into down dog. And then slowly start to walk your feet towards the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthens you halfway. Exhale, deep and slow fold. Press to stand, inhale as you reach your arms up. Exhale, hands closer to your heart. Ground down to your feet. Soften your facial muscles and then release your hands. Awesome. Now let's from here, start with an um, eagle, eagle pose. So coming to a chair pose, hands to the hip, dropping your sitting bones down, chair pose. And then from there, now take the left leg, wrap it around the right, single or double wrap. And then drop your sitting bones down. As you drop your sitting bones down, Take the right hand on top of left, eagle arms. If this is too much for your shoulders, you can even hug your shoulders like that. Dropping your sitting bones down, chest up. Few breaths here. If you want a little, to go a little further, you can bring your elbow to your knee. But if you're challenged enough, stay where you are. And then untangle your legs and hands. Release, release, release. Now let's do the other side. Coming into a chair pose. Hands to the hip. And then this time take the right leg and wrap it over the left. Single or double wrap. And then left hand on top of right, eagle arms. Stay right there, or if you want to go a little further, elbow to knee. Lifting the lower belly slightly off of the front thigh. Don't forget to breathe. And then untangle your legs and hands. Release, release, release. Now from there, feet on the earth. Inhale as you reach your arms up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Now exhale, this time step the left leg back. Left leg back. Coming to a runner's lunge. Stay high on the balls of the back foot. Make sure the right knee is on top of ankle. You can eat to the right foot to the right edge of the mat. And from there, come up into high lunge. Reaching your arms up, stretching the spine tall, high lunge. And then bring your hands to a prayer, inhale here, and then exhale, twist to your right. Left elbow taps on top of the right knee, twist. 
Firm up the back thigh. If this is too much for you, you can bring the back knee down. That is the wonderful option. Broadening the collarbones, breathing into the twist. And then come back into walk into a high lunge. Inhale here. And then exhale, hands down to the block or to the mat. And then start to straighten, almost straightening the front leg. You can walk the back foot a little closer and start to ground down the back foot for a pyramid. Use blocks as needed. Drawing the right hip crease back. Connecting with your breath and let the breath decide how deeper you need to be in this shape. Now put a bend in the front knee, back leg meets the front, standing forward fold. Inhale, as we lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands closer to your heart. Now moving to the other side, inhale here, reaching your arms up, exhale, bow forward. Soft bending your knees. And then inhale, halfway. Exhale, stepping the right leg back. This time, come into a runner slouch. Take the time. Make sure the front knees on top of ankle. You can even use blocks. Get the blocks ready. And then from there, strong legs, feet into your hips, into your fingertips, come into a high lunge. Reaching your arms up, stretching the spine top. And then bring the hands to a prayer, take an in breath here. Exhale, tap the right elbow on top of left knee for a twist. Back knee can come down if you need more support. Bending the front thigh, firming up the back leg, broadening the collarbones, breathing into the twist. And then come up, strong legs, come up, come up, come up, high lunge. And then inhale here and then exhale, hands to the block or to the mat. And then start to straighten the front leg almost. You can walk the back foot a little closer and anchor down through the back heel for pyramid. Drawing that left hip crease back. Connect with your breath. And then put a bend in the front knee, back leg meets the front, standing forward fold. Inhale and pulse your halfway. Exhale, deepen your foot. Coming into a big toe hold, taking your feet a little wider, hip with distance apart or mat with distance apart. Use your face and finger to grab hold of your big toes. Inhale. Lengthen your halfway, exhale, fold. Elbows bent for your side. Feeling a nice opening in the upper back. If you have the space, you can release the bind. You can even start to slide your palms underneath your feet as needed. Coming ashway, standing on top of your hand and then exhale release. But if this is too much for you, big toe hold is a great option.
And then releasing the bind hands to the lower back, knees bent, long spine come all the way up, coming into a standing position. Now let's start the next flow. That starts with our chair pose. That's not a chair, it's the tree pose. Left leg is a standing leg, lifting that right leg up and place it anywhere on the left, except on the knee joint. Above or below the left knee, not against the left knee. And once you have the balance, reach your arms up. Feel free to stay there, but if you want a little more, then take the right ankle on top of the left knee and then start to drop your sitting bones down, groins back, thigh bones back, hitting a little deeper into that right hip socket. Standing hip opener. And allow the right hip to cook there for a few breaths. And then come back into a chair pose. And then strong legs stand tall. Hands to a prayer. Now let's go to the other side. This time right leg is a standing leg. Lifting the left leg up and place it anywhere on the right leg. Below or above the right knee. Not against the right knee. We don't want that lateral movement of the knee, knee joint. Focus on a point which is not moving that can help you with the balance. And once you have the balance, feel free to add on. Reaching your arms up, grounding down, rooting down through the standing leg, rebounding length all the way up through the spine. You can stay right there if you want a little deeper. Crossing the left ankle on top of the right knee, spreading the left toes, dropping your hips down, thigh bones back, chest up. And then come back into a chair pose. Inhale here, exhale, sit back. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, hands to a prayer. Awesome. Stay there for a few breaths. Both feet on the earth. Enjoy the stability. Now from there, warrior two. One more time, right side. Right toes out, heel to arch alignment. We are revisiting this shape for the fourth time. So maybe dropping down a little deeper, reaching out through the back leg, back hand. Spine is right in the middle. There is no compression in that right hip crease. And then from there, triangle. Straighten the front leg. Back foot comes a little closer. Reach, reach the right hand like you want to touch something very, very far. Right hand, wherever it touches the right leg, both shoulders back, left hand reaches up. The spine is right above the right leg. Triangle, Trikonasana. Enjoy this expansive and expressive shape. And then put a bend in the front knee. Come back into warrior two. One more time. This time moving into side angle. Reach, reach the right hand forward. If you want to place the right forearm on top, feel free to do that. Or you can take the right hand inside to the right foot. Hold on to the right shin like that. Or you can even use a block. And then left hand reaches up. Going a little deeper into the side angle. The body is warmed up for that. 
hip points up, chest up, so that you are not collapsing into that right leg. Feel free to stay there. If you bind this in your practice, this may be the time to take it. Coming into an ass bind. Left hand wraps, reaching for the right thigh. If you have the space for the full bind, feel free to do that. Again, make sure that you're not collapsing. Hip points up, chest up. And breathe. And then hands down, plank pose. Now inhale in plank. Charge yourself in plank. And then exhale, exhale, lower down. Straight leg is a beautiful option too. And then once you are right there, coming into a locust pose this time for a back bend. Inhale, lifting your head up, heart up, chest up. Try to bring the inner feet together. If you want to take the full version of locus, reaching your arms forward. But if it is bothering your lower back, back it off. Shoulders up and back, chin slightly towards your chest, back of the neck is long. And then slowly, 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 slowly. And then shift back into downward facing dog. Once again, feeling your hands, feet. Notice the support. Every time you come back to down dog, it's like coming back to your home base. Now please take an in breath here. Exhale as you walk towards the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthens you ask me. Exhale, deepens your fold. Press to stand. Inhale as you reach your arms up. Exhale, hands closer to your heart. Awesome. Now let's do the other side. This time coming into warrior two. On to the other side. Stepping the right leg back. Left toes out. Front heel in line with the back arch. Hands to a T. Coming into warrior two. Dropping down a little deeper. Firming up the back thigh. And then straighten the front leg. Back foot a little closer. Reach, 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 reach the left hand. And then left hand wherever it touches the left leg. Both shoulders back. So that the spine is right on top of the left leg, right hand reaches up to Kadasana Triangle. Few breaths here. And then put a bend in the front knee. Come back into warrior two. Coming into an extended side angle. Reach, reach, reach. You can take the left forearm on top of the front thigh. That is a wonderful option. Or you can even take it inside to that left foot. Hold on to that left shin. Or to the block. And then right hand reaches up. Half bind. Right hand wraps around, reaching for that left thigh. Or a full bind is in your practice. But make sure you can breathe. So that you are not collapsing into that front leg. Hip points up, chest up. And then slowly release, hands down, plank pose. Now inhale and plank. And then a slow exhale to lower down. With ease and grace. Knees down is always a good option for my practice. And then tops of the feet on the mat. 
forehead to the center. Setting up for locust pose one more time. Head up, chest up. Hands by your side. Or reaching forward. Any option is fine. You can stay right there, but if upward facing bow is in your practice, you can bend both knees, reach for the back leg, lift your chest up. But if that is too much for you, repeat locus. The locus is a wonderful option. If you are doing upward facing bow, kick back, kick back, chest up. Kick back, chest up. And then slowly, slowly raise. Winch your right with your legs. Send a nice dosage of loving breath into that lower back. That should take away any frustration there. And then make your way into downward facing dog. Now from there, right leg rises up, come into a pigeon pose, pigeon. If there is any knee issues, let me know. We can take a variation for pigeon. You can come on, come on your back, take a figure four, pigeon. But if it is okay, go for that sleeping pigeon and stay there for a few breaths. Maybe if, uh, if you feel you're lopsided, you can even take a block or even a blanket and rest the right hip there and then pigeon. Allow the head to rest somewhere. Few breaths there. Conscious breath. Then hands down, lift and liberate the right leg up and back, or you can even go for a wide leg down dog to release that right hip. And then back into a down dog, big toes touch each other here. Now coming to pigeon on the other side, left leg rises up, pigeon. Taking it down again, one side may be totally different than the other. There is always an option to do pigeon on your back if you have any um, tweaking knees or something like that. So take care of your body and listen to your body's wisdom. Pigeon on your back, figure four pigeon. Or sleeping pigeon here. So place something under the knee that Left knee, left sitting bone as needed. Make sure the right leg is in line with the right hip. And once you have established the shape, surrender to that shape.
Inhale, down, come into downward facing dog. Lifting and liberating the left leg in whatever way you feel comfortable. And you can even take a wide leg. And then from there, come into a down dog, big toes touch each other. Moving into side plank. Now walk the left hand a few inches forward. Come halfway to plank and then roll over to the outer edge of the left foot. Right hand reaches up. This is the full version. Modified version can even bring the top leg, that's the right leg. Roll over to the outer edge of the left foot. Use that right leg. Push down into the right leg like you want to stand tall and then reach the right hand up. Few breaths here, and then hands down, back into downward facing dog. Now let's do the other side. Now this time, walk the right hand a few inches forward, roll over to the outer edge of the left foot, side plank on the other side. This is a full version. If you want a little modified version, bring the top leg, Push the top leg to the front, pushing to that left leg like you want to stand tall and then reach up. Balancing the left half of the body on top of the right. And then hands down, come back into downward facing dog. Come connect to your breath. Then stay committed to your breath. Bring your knees down. Or you can bring your forearms down for dolphin pose. You can even use a block in between your forearms or you can even interlace your fingers. These are all great options. Stay there for a few breaths. Dolphin is a great primer for upper body strength and also a great primer for inversions. Sitting goes up, thigh goes back. And then drop your knees down, come into child's pose. Enjoy your child's pose, yogis. Enjoy your child's pose. You can even take your hands by your side. Forehead rests on a block or to the mat. Once again, observe the breath moving inside your body. Feel the breath touching your body. Notice the space which has opened up. Just tune into that space. The space which you thought never existed. And then slowly come up. And then please lie all the way on your back. And then hug your knees closer to your chest. Roll a little side to side, giving a nice therapeutic massage for your lower back. Now allow both knees to fall to the right, hands to the T, gaze wherever your neck is comfortable. Try to soften your whole body, especially your shoulders, neck, facial muscles. 
Once you start with your facial muscles, it's kind of like a ripple effect. It will go through your whole body. So soften your face. Come back to center. Now allow both knees to fall to the other side. Hands to the teeth. Face wherever your leg feels easy. Soft face, soft shoulders, neck. Use the inhale to create length in that lower back. Use your exhale to drop down a little deeper. Let it go. And come back to center. Bring the soles of the feet together, knees wide apart. Placing your hands wherever your shoulder and neck feels easy. Few breaths there. Relaxing your hip points, knees, ankles, shoulders, neck, facial muscles, especially the muscles surrounding your lips, your eyes. Start to straighten your leg, moving into Shavasana. Take up the space, the space you created with your practice. Take up the space. Spread out in that space. Drop down deeper in that space. And disappear in that space, Shavasana. You are at home, yeah. Everybody is at home. If you have the time, I highly recommend you to stay in Shavasana for a few more breaths. Please allow the body the privilege to stay there in Shavasana for a few more breaths. But if you are working in that 60 minute timeline, our time is almost there. So gently bringing awareness back to your body, back to your breath. Then rolling over to your favorite side. And then whenever you're already using the support of your hands, come into a seated position. Eyes may fall closed. Sitting on top of a block. Or roll the blanket, spine is effortlessly, elegantly tall. This is exactly how we started and notice how it feels right now. Once again, checking in with your body, with your breath. 
Notice the space. which is opened up in your body. Observe the space in between two breaths. Feel the space in your mind. And clearly observe the space which has blossomed in between two thoughts. Now unite your palms in front of your heart. Honoring the space which is inside me and inside you. And in that space, we all are one. That's it. Thank you, Sherry, Jenna, Megan, Karen, Kutti, who have joined the class. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.